This is Bolt's extreme close up. Ah! Oh, I, and I've okay. He's like, "What are you doing, woman?" <laughs> Hi, Bolt. So we're here with Julia from Finding Them Homes, uh, James Bay Rescue. Am I saying it correctly? Yeah, it's uh, James Bay Homes, Positive James Rescue. James Bay Positive Rescue. Now, um, we want to talk about fosters. I have to let you know that I am a failed foster. I apologize, but I was supposed to foster my dog, and I kept him because I fell in love. But it's really important to be a foster to continue fostering. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? Sometimes even fostering a dog will kind of... Um, give you an idea if you're ready for a dog or not. Absolutely. So, that's a great, yeah, yeah. great suggestion. That's yeah. so true. And you completely rely on fosters because you don't have, a, you know, a shelter, a building to put the dogs in. No. So you're always looking for fosters. Is that like a long process? Do people apply? Um, no. To become a foster is fairly quick. Like you literally put in your application, which is also on our website. We do a quick home visit and... Awesome. Yeah. Because we can only take in as many fosters or dogs as we have fosters for. Totally makes sense. Yeah. And of course, maybe if you were thinking, I want a dog, but I'm not sure if it fits my lifestyle, you can foster. You'll probably get pretty attached, but then you can foster more dogs and help out uh, in our community, the uh, rescue. Now also, one more thing, of course, we've talked about donations. You're 100% donation driven, yep. I am assuming. Yep. So what do people do to donate? Do they just go to your website? Yeah, we have uh, we have PayPal or we you can do an e-transfer or you can even email a check if you want because we, like you said, we literally run off donations. And we are a registered charity, so anything $15 or more, you can get an income tax receipt for. Now, I know sometimes people ask, like, okay, well, what are they using the money for? Why do they need donations? Can you explain? Because I know you guys yep. have high bills. <laughs> yeah, well, um, every dog has to go see the vet. We get them all microchipped. We get them their shots. We get their vet exam done. We've also, this year, we've been able to do three spay and neuter clinics oh, in awesome. these remote communities. To help so, out with the pet population. Exactly. Very Bob Barker of me, but that's exactly <laughs> what it is, right? Yep. Bolts, by the way, if you are still loving Bolts, he, I don't know if you can see him. He is lying on the floor, chilling out. He's like, I'm a celeb. Whatever, I'm used to this. This is the greatest dog. Come up, Bolts. Come on, Bolts. Bolts is chilling. If you love a dog that chills with the most beautiful eyes, look into getting Bolts. We're all obsessed with them here at the radio station. Come on, Bolts. What's there? What's there? What's there? He's like, where's the food? Where's the food? <laughs> He's not a kisser, he's an Eskimo kisser. He's so cute. He could be yours. He could be yours. 